Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm very well, teacher, and you? Very well, thank you for asking. Okay, thank you. Did you? Thank you, teacher. All right, did you listen to the uh, audios and the videos? Today we have another yes. listening activity, okay? So you need to practice the listening, okay? Hello, Claudia. How is everything okay, today? I'm doing well, thank you, and you? Very well, thank you as well for asking. Give me a moment just to rename my... Suffering with a lot of mosquitoes. Are there mosquitoes in your house? Yes. How much? Uh, I mean, are there many mosquitoes or just a few of them? Many? In my house, in my house, there are many, all right? And they yes. love my, my blood. <laughs> <laughs> like sugar. <laughs> I, I maybe yeah maybe uh, because of uh, my my blood is is very sweet or I don't know, but yeah they they are horrible. I cannot tolerate them, but anyways, uh, welcome 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 welcome. Uh, do you have any questions, guys? Today we will start uh, talking about the wood. We will use wood, the auxiliary wood, to talk about regrets or to talk about some things that we should have done before and we probably didn't do it, all right? Hi, Edgardo, ¿por qué se me esconde? Why are you hiding? You're muted. Let me share the screen, guys. One moment, please. Mm -mm. There are some videos and some audios, so I hope that you have heard them before since we are going to talk about them, okay? It's always a second. Will I tell you something? Yes, tell me. Yeah, before we have, uh, so, I don't know, uh, some of the teachers that we already had, they don't uh, you, um, touch on always the platform uh, yeah, because that's our, our job uh, to do it. Uh, no, during the class, I think that that is the way for because we are, we are working a little bit that, uh, no, as fast as, as you want, no? Okay. But, I mean, you are supposed to work in the platform, but yesterday I was asking you about some audios, about that audio, and nobody's, well, half of you or most of you didn't participate, all right? And yes and other the day before yesterday on monday or tuesday i started talking i started asking you but you didn't answer me all right so how am i supposed to cover some other topics if you're not following me all right that is something that uh it's kind of difficult for me because i'm asking you i'm trying to <clears throat> i'm trying to ask you for examples uh, some examples to give me opinion, but no, not all everybody practices. So my my job is to uh, make you talk. So that is why I decided to talk about or to um, discuss topics about the uh, the platform. All right, first because we need to fill uh, all the exercises and we need to have the correct answers. Second because when I said something different, when I uh, bring up something different, you never participate, okay? I got it, guys. So I need from Amyo, um, I need your um, cooperation, as I said yesterday. I mean, I can, call, I can give you 
a different topic, for example, but I am always, um, I'm always asking and nobody answers, okay? Just a few of you, all right? So that is my concern. If you want, I can bring up some exercises. I'm asking you, do you have any questions? Yesterday, I realized that some of you don't, uh, uh, let's see, you, you don't know very well how to express the ideas in simple past, for example. So anyways, I can talk about simple past. I can explain some, some examples. I can explain some topics. However, you don't ask me you don't participate, all right? So it is something that we have to, I am just like the moderator, so you have to talk, all right? We are basically in advance, so I hope that you talk. For me, it's just talk and, um, and answer the exercises, okay? And of course, if you want to talk a little bit about something else, just tell me. Uh, what topics do you want to uh, to review? Okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. <clears throat> uh, uh, did I make myself clear, guys? It depends on you, not it, yes. not on me. Okay. It depends on you. Yes. Let me say this in Spanish because many of you probably didn't get. Oh, uh, alguien estaba diciendo, mire, teacher, pero fíjese que nosotros trabajamos en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y los otros teachers hablan de otras cosas que no son la plataforma porque eso ustedes lo están haciendo, supuestamente. Y ayer, con un audio, pasamos prácticamente toda la clase y yo quería escuchar que ustedes me dijeran, ¿verdad? Su opinión y prácticamente fueron como cuatro participantes, ¿ok? ¿De cuántos somos? ¿De cuántos en total? 17, 18, ¿verdad? Entonces, el día anterior estuve preguntando, ok, guys, denme ejemplos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Denme ejemplos con estos time, time expressions. Un silencio total. Entonces, yo no puedo estar, ¿verdad? Eh, hablando y hablando y hablando porque creo que parte de la clase es ustedes un 80% y yo simplemente soy la moderadora, ¿ok? Pero si ustedes tienen preguntas, of course, I can answer them, all right? I'm here to correct you, and if I made a mistake, you can also correct me, all right? Nobody knows everything in, the, in, in life, okay? Am I clear, guys? So I need your cooperation because some of you don't even say anything, all right? If I don't ask you directly, you don't say anything. You're just listening, okay? So help me as well, okay? As I mentioned, we'll continue with the... Um, Give me a moment. I will continue to finish the, uh, the, the section number one and section number two because we should finish this by today, all right? So basically that's, that's what we're gonna do today. Obviously today I'm gonna ask you, okay, what type of personality do you know since you already watched the video, I would like you to tell me all the personalities that come to your mind. All right, that is another topic. So tell me guys, let's discuss about it. Me paso de acá. Si ustedes me dicen, ah, okay, esta, eh, considero que todas estas personalidades, verdad, son las que hemos visto. All right, so you can express yourself. You can tell me synonyms, for example, about <clears throat> About all the um, about everything you have you have studied, all right? So, for example, the um, behaviors. Okay. Or Vicious. personalities. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Behavior or personalities, right? So we have one. Uh, what are the what is the first personality you say? Ambitious. Ambitious. Okay, what this um, what does this mean? Okay, can you give me an example using ambition or ambitious, I'm sorry. 
if I will, if I were, no, if I had been ambitious, I would have um, a new car. All right, very good, Lorena. You are actually in including the other topic that we will talk about today. That is the, um, the would have, right? Would have to talk about, for example, regrets or something that we should have done before and we shouldn't or we didn't do it, all right? So imagine, guys, this is would have, but some of you don't remember the simple past. Would have is something different. Do you know the past participle of, so, of, of some verbs? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lorena. Very good. Let me test you, okay? Let me test you. I'm going to bring in a couple of verbs, like the most common verbs. Give me a second. And I will ask you for the past participle. You write it to me. All right. The last one to send it to me. Ahí le vamos a dejar tareas que nos diga la próxima vez. So you tell me uh, at least 10 verbs in past participle because today we will study past participle. All right. And the behavior of personalities. Give me a second. I have a paper here. Where is the list? <coughs> One moment, guys. So just just to ask you, for example, are you ready, guys? Vamos a hacer una competition. We will have a competition. So you write the the, the past participle of the verb I will mention, okay? Yes. yes, very good. The first one, did, go ahead, enter it in the chat. Go ahead. Did, uh, do, 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 I'm sorry. Do, did, and Done. the past participle. Yeah, in the chat, guys, in the chat. Let me see if you know, so you are, you should write it right away in the chat. All right, I have only four answers. All right, so what does this tell me? We are, right now, we are 14 participants. So with, without me, we are 13. So I expect 13 answers. All right, do you know the verb in the past participle? I have only four answers, all right? Which is Claudia, Lorena, Angelica, and Ed Edgardo. All right, what about the rest? <clears throat> you see? I cannot implement one activity if I have only like 20% of the students uh, participating, all right? So that is something that makes me feel like, you know, may I carry all at once? I'm asking you for this. I mean, the, the, most, the most common verb, do. What is the past? Did. And the past participle done. All right, let's go to the second one. What about the rest? What about the rest, guys? Get ready with the tap, with typing, okay? No, regular, no, Ronald. Uh, they are too easy. All right, I need, I need the past participle, okay? Uh, for irregular verbs, because regular verbs are easier. Let's, say, let's do the second one. I have only four answers. And um, the rest will have extra extra work, okay? Extra homework. If you didn't answer me, guys, extra homework. All right. <clears throat> I will give you just a few seconds. Mm -mm. Let me see if I have the stopwatch here. Stopwatch. Mm 
Yeah. And one question. And um, are you going to tell us about the the basic form of the bear or we have to type? Oh, I am telling you. I mean, I am telling you verbally. All right. If you yes. don't understand, you can tell me, okay, how do you spell it? So I will spell it for you, all right? Yes, because I see that um, they are right. <laughs> they writing they some, yeah. <laughs> yes. They are writing what? They yeah. can eat in written. Uh -huh, they are writing the verse. Yes, in, yes in past parents form. Yeah, Look at the chat. <laughs> Imagine I have drunk. That is not Anna. That is not a, a past participle. That is not a past part. Begun. Yes, Monica. But I will tell you the base form of the verb, and you will tell yeah. me. That is easier. Okay, come on, guys. Um, very very quick, <clears throat> guys. So that means that you never answer the uh, anything in the platform. Nunca vieron la plataforma. Nunca hacen nada en la plataforma. Yes, of course. Okay, but that's what I understood that you never don't do anything in the platform because that is part of your of your stuff. No. Yeah, no, we, we, we have to work before you 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 did that you do, uh, give the the class. And when that's you what... give the class, uh, I know what you going to talk about. Okay. That's why I got confused. I don't know if I understood different, but that's what I understood. I mean, you don't want to work with, uh, it is supposed that I shouldn't work with you with the, in the platform because that is part of mm -hmm. your job. That's what I understood. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, how can I know that you have 100% of the exercises done? Sometimes you, we don't know, so we need to answer them in group. group. Sometimes when, when, when we have problems, sorry, when we have problems, we, we ask, can you help me with the part one? And we say the, 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 the where we, we have the problem, but we work alone. We don't work with, with the teacher, the, the platform. Okay, good. So in that case, um, since we're going to talk about the regrets, how do we express regrets, guys? What is the, um, you already studied that. So tell me, what is the structure? You need to use past participle of the verbs, correct? Yes. Okay. What is the structure, for example? What do you remember? The subject. The subject should okay. have plus, plus should. past participle. Plus should have, all right? Subject plus should have plus the past participle of the verb, okay? Excellent, easier, right? So we have, I have another verb for you guys. Let's do, let's do go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, one, one answer, two answers, three, four. Mm -hmm. Only four answers and more than 10 seconds, guys, okay? Uh, I'm trying to, to check who is the one who is answering all the time. All right, what about right? Right. Thank you. How do you pronounce that, guys? Written. All right. How do you pronounce that, uh, Monica? Yes. Right. I don't hear you. Oh, uh, what about steel? Steel. It's written. Written, yeah, it's written. because people say, some people say writing, right? And writing is with ing. Thank you, Steve. What up? Okay, so we have stolen. Very good. Thank you. I have another one. Um, 
stand. Stand. That is actually a, an irregular verb. Very good, excellent. And the rest? Okay, good job, guys. Um, very good. So I, I see that you know the verbs. So guys, the topic is uh, about talking about regrets. So what is we have the structure the structure already? Give me your examples, okay? For example, I would using the if as well, okay? The particle if if I If I would have money, no, sorry. If I had money, I would have, what is the past participle of buy? Bought. 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 bought, all right, bought. All right, very good. I should, I, I would have bought, a car long time ago. Okay, give me your example. If I been more confident, I could have lived in the United States. If I have if been I have been yeah more confident. All right. So if I had been more confident. Uh huh. I could have lived in the United States. All right, good job. I like it. All right, what else, guys? Another? Thank you, Lorena. You see? Thank you, Ronald. All right. Uh, anybody else, guys? I like this example. Good example. What else? <laughs> so that is actually to talk about uh, hypothetical situations, right? For example, uh, let me ask you, Susan, give me your example. Um, I don't know why I was actually I was thinking about it. Um, I think. Maybe if I had learned English before, I wouldn't work in a bank. Are you working in a bank or you're working in Concentrix? No, I, I'm working at Concentrix right now, but all my life, like 12 years of my life, I had worked in a bank. All, all right, life so, in, in financial institutions. Oh, okay. So where would have you worked? If you wouldn't have work, been working in the in the bank, so do you prefer call center than banks? <laughs> yeah, yes, definitely. All right, nice. Uh, can you repeat the example so we can write it? Yes. Uh, if I if I had um, I'm sorry. So if I had learned English before, I wouldn't work in a bank. I would not work in a bank. Is that what you say? Yes. All right, what is missing here, guys? And the verb and the comma. Mm -hmm. What verb? 
um, like this, work. and also, uh -huh. but it's something, also, something else mm -hmm. missing. Yes, Remember, the after the letter word, e, have. have exactly the present, oh, right? Have. It's a present perfect. So that is something that we need to uh, to work on. All right, very good. If I have learned English, I will have not worked in a bank before. All right, excellent. Give me your example, uh, Jonathan. And let me know why you don't have the, the cameras on, okay? Let me know. For example, guys, I would give you, um, if I hadn't been, for example, if I had not been so, um, how can I say, mischievous or, Considered. Do you know what considered is, guys? Let me know if this is the correct spelling. No? Stock up? Considered. Sorry. Thank you. Considered or stock up? Cocky, yeah, stock up. Like, when you believe uh, that you are mm -hmm. more important than somebody else, right? Like, proud, proud. But proud is like, well, you feel proud because you do, you do something, but it's not the same translation. Oh, okay. Yeah. When you believe that you are more more important than someone, you believe that you are higher in a higher level than somebody else, mm -hmm. that is stock up. Like okay. either, right? Orgulloso, but our, orgulloso is not the same like proud because we are proud because we struggle for something, right? When we learn English, for example, or when we uh, finish our career, you feel proud because it's been a very, very difficult situation that you've been through, all right? So it's a little yeah. bit different. Mm -hmm. in the positive way exactly so if she had not been so considered uh, she would be you can also use like this she would be or she will have uh, gotten married before all right another example I have only three examples. Let's see, Jonathan, I don't know where, where he is. Ciro, Angelica, Claudia. Yes, I'm Me teacher. Tell me. I should have paid attention to my mother, but I didn't. Nice, excellent. I like it. Uh, there is another way that you can also use the simple present, right? If I, if... I would have an, repeat it, please. If, repeat it, Angelica. If. If. Yep. If I, wait, what? what? Give me the example again, please. Let me write it down. I should have paid. I should have paid. Attention. Okay. To my mother. To my mother, okay. But I didn't. But I didn't. All right. Okay. Well, basically, we have two different are different ways to, to express ourselves, our regrets, or some if hypothetical situations, okay? But especially is should have, okay? I should have done this. Oh, why, why? I should have done this before, right? Otherwise, uh, I would be like this. También podría decir would con un simple present, ¿verdad? I would be living abroad or studying abroad, in my, okay, in my 
in my um my example right i would be studying abroad if i had passed a toefl before all right another example guys or any my my question is is why uh, I'm, why I'm asking examples since you don't because probably you don't remember so i want to hear one example from each of you all right but not everybody says uh, the examples all right another let's see another new new word for you guys what type of behavior or personality can can a person have okay introvert all right introvert or extrovert right very good another outgoing outgoing we studied that part yesterday right outgoing sometimes somebody who is not shy the opposite of shy all right um carefree carefree uh-huh we we saw that part as well carefree so for example what can be a behavior can you for example if i say materialistic is a it's a personality or is a behavior guys Maybe a personality, right? Materialistic? Yes. Okay. What else? Another be personality. Charming. Charming. I like that one. All right. Charming. Another? Humble. Humble. Okay. Is that personality or behavior? I guess personality, because when a person is humble, it's humble any day or in, in all the situations. All right. And what behavior, about... uh -huh. it's when someone it's, acts different whenever uh, something comes up. So you, can, you could be, for example, like playing soccer, you could be like different playing soccer, different when you're working or different and every single day so to me a behavior it's like an emotion which could be temporary and personality right. like angry <laughs> aggressive okay. maybe what else what could be then tell me some behaviors and some personalities okay humble is like um impulsive an impulsive person <laughs> no humble is actually uh we call it well, we, we we say humil, uh, but humil is somebody who doesn't have a lot of money. So humble is something something more like your personality because you're very kind. You don't you're not a stuck up person. You are not materialistic. You're very, uh, very, very kind mm, or polite. Polite, kind, and everything. Yeah. We, it's like uh, humil, but humil means somebody who has a lot of uh, low low resources, right? That is basically the difference, humil. But it's okay. the same. If we transfer this to Spanish, if you translate this to Spanish, sería humilde, all right? But humil sería alguien que de verdad, it's very, very poor, okay? okay. That is something, a diff, that is a difference between with the, between them all right another guys and nice 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 okay is that a behavior or personality behavior a behavior oh, he's, he's being nice for example the other the other the other or the opposite will be 
When somebody is kind of uh, rude. rude, exactly, rude, rude. excellent. Terrible. Okay. What is the other? Grumpy? Grumpy, all right, like the. Um... Grumpy, like the Grinch, right? Okay, thank you. Um, what else, guys? Come on, there are so many. There, you're you're not saying too many. I mean, just just a few. Careful. All right, very good. Brave. I like that one. Brave. Never, exactly. Never. Humble is the opposite of conceited. That's what I said. I'm sorry. Clever. Clever. All right. Very. It's clever. So that is an attitude or a behavior or a personality a behavior a behavior right you're right. acting clever or sometimes you act like you're you're not that somebody's not talking to you okay another funny funny all right behavior right yes all right somebody who forgets everything do you remember that is that a behavior or for personality yeah, it could be forgetful, forgetful, but there is another word. That is absent-minded, all right? When not, not forgetful exactly, but when you are out of your mind, that means that you are not thinking at that time about or you're not talk like when you're not in the class you're not paying attention you are absent or distracted or distracted yeah absent minded all right but that is a uh, behavior right all right any anything else guys there were many but obviously we don't have the whole time to do it Another one could be straightforward. Straightforward. It's that like is? a direct or honest person. Very direct. It is a personality. Yeah, it's a personality. You're not uh, playing around. You're not talking uh, uh, around the bush, right? You're straight. It's straightforward. All right. Uh, sorry. Straight forward. Okay. So we have some of them, so we can talk about them in a moment. So regarding the exercises, you say you don't have any question, right? No? All good. No, teacher. No okay. Okay. Let me stop share this. Behavior, personalities, behavior and personalities. All right, some of you gave me the examples using this uh, should have, using past participle, and also using the if clause. For hypothetical situations, you already watched the video, apparently. All right, so we will continue with this. Uh, here is easier. You have the answers already, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, for example, uh, what is the, um, I need you to tell me guys, the reduction of have been, since you watched the video as well, instead of saying have been, how do you pronounce it? I would been, I would been, I would be living in the United States if I be, if I had a visa. Mm -hmm. If I, guys, when do you use if 
for example. If it is a condition? When it's a condition, all right? But for example, you can use if plus subject plus so many mosquitoes. Uh huh. Give me the instruct the uh, is the structure. What is the structure? It is if plus subject plus has plus past participle. Plus have plus past participle. Yes. Okay, yeah, we already studied that. Plus have plus past participle. But, yeah, but there is a, there are different ways, okay? If that is to talk about regress, to talk about the past participle, uh, something that should have been done before, but we didn't do it, all right? Uh, for example, if I have passed TOEFL before the answer is will it's the outcome would be what would be the outcome if I have passed the outcome I mean the condition is if I have passed the TOEFL what would be the resolution? What would be the, the result? You should be working in a in a very, I don't know, very important place. I should be working in a better or a more most important place. I should be working. Or should, or should you mm. be earning a lot of money? I know because it's it's the opposite. You 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 didn't pass the, the TOEFL. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. So it's a regret. Yeah. So in that case, you use the outcome, or the result will be a subject plus would. And in this case, you can also just say the the base form. Okay, I would work. I would work in a different place, or you can use also present continuous, right? Um, subject plus would you? What is the present continuous for? Tell me. I need you to give me a, one example of each of them, okay? When you use ing at the end of the verb, exactly. But what is after would? ing only? always with basic form. No. What did you say? Somebody said the answer. Have been, been. I would have been. Yeah. Uh -uh. I would be, present continuous, would be working. I would be working in a different place. Yeah? Now, if you're talking about the, others, the other way is subject plus would, have been that is in present perfect present perfect continuous actually all right plus the past plus the ing okay or you can just use i would have worked all right not only verb uh, past the present perfect continuous this is gonna be subject plus would plus Present perfect. In in present perfect, obviously, is have plus the past participle. Got it, guys? So you there should... are different ways to, to express the um the regrets. All right. Tell me. Would you share the 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 screen? Because uh, I know I don't see. The... Oh, you don't see it. I'm sorry. No. Me. Me neither. <laughs> Sorry, I'm writing here. All right. Okay, thanks. Thank this you. is the main clause. Is like the first option. It's the main clause here, but the outcome or the result will be either the would 
I would work by myself. I would have my own job. I would have my own company. This is present. This is simple present. All right. I would work. I would play. If I would, if I had, for example, if I have had my daughter last weekend, I si eso would have, el outcome puede ser entonces en pasado, right? I would have, I would have played, I would have played. Or in this case, if I, let's do this in negative. If I haven't had If I have not, sorry. If I haven't had my daughter. Sorry guys, aquí sería had. Past, in the past, all right? If I hadn't had, if I haven't had my song with me last week, of if have if I had not invited or gone out with my friends. If I haven't gone out, if I had not invited my friends, my son, whatever, last week with my son or with my friends, last week, uh, the outcome would be I would have more money. More money today. All right. Yeah. If I had not spent a lot of a lot of things, if I had not bought a lot of makeup, I would have money right now. Right. We can use either just simple present would plus a base form, but using a, pre a present continuous, I would um, or I would be. You can say I would be having, but it's not very common. I will be going out this weekend as well. Okay, got it guys? Give me another example using would have been. Do, do you know how, for example, I, help me. If I hadn't gone out with my friends, I, I would have been sleeping. So that is in past, right? Yeah, so the result is in the, in the past, all right? I would have been, no, that is in present continuous. I would have been doing a lot of things. Spending more money today, yeah. Or doing more things, all right? or going out with my friends. I would be going out with my friends this weekend. I would have been going out. I would have been spending more money. So what's the difference? Present continuous is the verb to be. For present perfect continuous is have been plus the ing, yes? And just the past participle is the same that we just studied, all right? I would have, I would have gone to the United States if I had saved, of if I had had the visa. But would be working. Eso sería más que todo. Uh, I should have the anterior talking about like I should have, I should have, should have worked in concentrics before. Yeah. 
it's just as an expression. Though you don't necessarily use the if, but if you use if, you need to use uh, like two different clauses. Got it, guys? Questions? <sighs> Any other examples? Um, no, no more examples. So, guys, I need you to tell me the uh, reduction. I would have been all right. Using would have been. Uh-huh. There is a lot of background. Reduction of have been, guys. You, you watch the video, right? So you know how to express yourself using the uh, the reduction. Many Americans wouldn't say would have or have been. They say I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been. right? I've been. They use a lot I've of been. reduction. I've been. Yeah. So you already heard this this audio you say, so we are not going to talk about that. Oh, if I had not my racket, mosquitoes would be biting me more than they are eating or biting me right now. <laughs> Look, ah, it's a horrible. And if I hadn't had my fan on, they will be biting me more as well. So I have my 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 fan and my racket, and they are still biting me a lot. <laughs> Horrible. All right. Any other example, guys? No. Did you watch this video for the section two already? I do. All right, very well. So how to use the infinite, uh, infinitive clauses to describe purposes? All right, um, guys, what is an infinitive? Let's talk about infinitive. When you use two or four. Exactly, very good. When we're talking about infinitives is also you, we are using the word two. When your intention is something you always say, all right, um, what is a, what is another word that you can say instead of to? What? In order to. In order to. In order to, all right? For example, my intention, Why are you studying English, all right? I need you, everybody to, to send me or give me an example. For example, I am, I am saving money, or I have, be, I have been saving money. This is present continuous, present perfect continuous. I've been saving money, and then what is the, the purpose or what is the intention? What is your purpose? Then you say two, uh-huh, two. Two, to buy a car, car. all right? I am studying. God, sorry about the caps. I am studying English. What is the intention? You have another job? You have another job or a better job, right? A better job. Sería un, a better job, right? 
Okay. Another job? Yes, but a better job, all right? Uh, to have a better job. All right, give me another example, Angela. You see? I am studying. Um... Oh, no, no, give me a different example. Another example, it's not am... studying, not saving money, not working. I am cooking. I am cooking. Uh, to have a um, 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 um <laughs> to have. I'm cooking to have. Oh I have my, my racket. My I heart. have my racket to kill mosquitoes. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. For my daughter. Oh, can you repeat it? For my daughter. To have for my daughter. Yes or no? <laughs> mm. Guys, help me. What can oh, you no, add no. to make it to make it mm. to, eat, to eat helpful? Yes. yes. Teacher. I'm cooking, yes. And um, I'm running every day to have better health. Yeah, good job. I am running to have a better, to have a better health. All right. All right. I am exercising uh, to uh, be fit. All right. Uh -huh. Aquí le hace, aquí, to have for my daughter. No entiendo, Angela. Hágame la diferente. Right, I'm cooking to. I am to feed my daughter, maybe to feed my yes, daughter. To feed I, my daughter, yes. To feed my daughter, right? So that is your intention, your purpose, yeah. Edgardo. <laughs> okay. I was practicing playing the guitar to play better. All right, to rehearse, to play better, to improve. Very good, Monica. <laughs> I've been learning to play the piano to sing my daughter's favorite song. Thank you. Very nice. And other guys. Monica, I don't hear you. I don't hear you. You need to check the speaker, all right? Or text me, send it in the chat. All right, you're fixing the computer. All right, Ronald, let's see. You have given me already, right? Let's see. I have been playing good video games. I'm working in order to earn money. All right, Alberto, did you give me an example? Yes, very good. Yeah, yeah I, I, I saw it already. Anna, what is your example? Teacher, I, I have a question. Go. Okay. Uh -huh. I am eating healthy. Um, to to have best help but that is the same example somebody gave me it's very similar but it's okay to to be healthy all right to be health to have better health or to be healthier okay uh, well guys i have to leave we'll see you tomorrow remember we have classes tomorrow okay take care a lot bye 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 bye, bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.